Galaxy A50 and A70 are a far cry from what Samsung's mid-range devices used to be just a year ago. Both the phones pack in some decent hardware for the price and even offer a premium software experience with the all-new One UI. However, that doesn't mean that they are perfect. There's still some scope for improvement, especially on the software front, and nothing that can't be addressed with a couple of handy apps. And that's exactly what we are going to talk about in this video. This is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and let's get right to it. So as I mentioned, both the devices come with Samsung's new One UI and even though it is significantly better than Samsung's older Android skins, I'm personally not a huge fan. I always inclined more towards the stock Android look and feel which is why a great third-party launcher is an absolute must-have. If you're also in the same league, then I'd recommend that you get the rootless launcher right away. With this launcher, you will be able to get a near stock Android experience on your new Galaxy phone. Pretty much exactly like the one you'll get on a Pixel device. It has a clean and minimal interface, a handy persistent search bar at the bottom, and a wallpaper-based theme selection. The launcher also includes support for third-party icon packs, along with adaptive icons, but the best part is that you can even get the Google Now feed on the left with this launcher. However, in order to get that, you'll need to download the rootless Pixel Bridge APK from the link in the description and enable the display Google app setting in the launcher settings. If you choose to stick with the stock One UI launcher but still wish to personalize the UI, then you should definitely get Samsung's own GoodLock app. With the app, you'll be able to customize a number of UI elements right from the lock screen to the multitasking screen and the results are pretty great. I've installed in on the A70 and I've made so many changes that the interface barely looks anything like the stock One UI. It's that versatile. I've rearranged the lock screen, customized the notification shade and tweaked the multitasking screen. On top of that, the app even has a tasker-like feature called routines with which you can automate a number of actions. If you're into customization, then I'm sure you will love good lock. Speaking of customizations, there are two more apps that you can get to take things to the next level. First, there's Edge Action, which as the name suggests, brings Samsung's handy edge panels to your device. Just download the Edge Action app from the Play Store, give it the required permissions and you're good to go. You can swipe from the right edge of the screen to open up a panel just like you would on a Galaxy S10 and you can keep swiping left to switch between different panels. All of these panels can be customized to fit your home screen setup, complete with themes, transparency, trigger settings and more. Next there's the Notch Live wallpaper with which you can add a battery meter around the notch on your phone. It's a nifty little app that will help you check your phone's battery percentage at a glance. You can customize the thickness and style of the battery indicator, but the free version doesn't allow you to change the wallpaper. For that, you'll need to purchase the paid version and then you'll be able to use the battery status indicator with any wallpaper of your choice. Speaking of wallpapers, the AMOLED Wallpapers app is another great app that you can get on your phone. The app features a stunning collection of dark 4K wallpapers that are specially designed for AMOLED display, something that your new phone has. Not only are these wallpapers a pleasure to look at, they'll even help you save some battery. Yeah, you heard me right. AMOLED displays don't illuminate pixels wherever there's black in a wallpaper, which can reduce battery consumption by up to 15%. Now let's get back to some useful apps that fill up the gaps in the Samsung's One UI. I'm sure you'd already know that the game launcher on either of the Galaxy devices isn't as functional as the one found on most of the devices. Which is why you should get FocusBot. As the name says, FocusBot lets you focus on, well, whatever you're doing on your phone at any given moment, muting all incoming notifications so that you aren't distracted at that moment. This not only works while you're playing games, but it can also come in handy while you're trying to work and don't want to be disturbed by any random notifications. The app even features a handy lock mode with which you can block specific apps. A focus area option which automatically turns on focus mode whenever you enter a predefined area and a focus timer setting which lets you choose how long you wish to stay focused. Next up we have the One Handy Browser, a great browser replacement that has been designed specifically for one-handed use. While the stock Samsung browser is pretty decent in itself, it's not ideal for situations where you want to use your phone with just one hand. The One Handy Browser or the O Browser as it's called has all its UI elements located close to the bottom of the display, which means that you can reach everything with just your thumb. 
And in case you are on a website that has its buttons on the top, you can just tap on the hand icon to automatically bring it down. Isn't that great? Moving on, the VLC media player is another must have on this new phone or any phone for that matter as the stock video player isn't all that good and doesn't include support for a number of file formats. Now VLC on the other hand supports a vast majority of file formats including support for multi-track audio aspect ratio adjustments and it even has some cool gesture controls to control volume, brightness and seeking. And the best part, it's completely free to use, has no ads or in-app purchases for that matter and doesn't collect your data. Rounding things off is the one and only Snapseed, our favorite image editor on Android. This app features a vast variety of editing and image manipulation tools with which you can, you know, completely transform your photos. There are tools to fine-tune images, remove unwanted objects, create cool color pop photos and a lot more. The possibilities are nearly endless. You might find it a bit complicated to use at first, but we have got some great tutorials on our website that you can check out and start editing your photos like a pro. Just go to guidingtech.com and use the search bar at the top to search for the articles. Well, that was our list of the best apps for your Galaxy A50 and A70. With these apps, you'll be able to address most of One UI's shortcomings and use your phone to its fullest potential. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to GT if you like this. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you in the next one, fellas.